Good morning and welcome to the Pleasure for Health podcast. And we discuss here lots of questions and um, topics related to relationships, to love, erotic desire, to uh, intimacy, to working on our own relationship with our body, our relationship with our lovers and our partners, and also relationship and right relationship with the world and with nature. So it's um, it's going to be a good a good topic this time because we are going to talk about this quote that I put in the comments for today. And I'm just going to read it out here. So uh, it's by Maladoma Somme, Patrice Somme, who died recently, but was a, a great African shaman who worked um, within the Western cultures to bring some of the indigenous wisdom to the West. And he wrote, a couple facing crisis in their relationship, such as separation or divorce, is on an initiatory path. Initiation is simply a set of challenges presented to an individual so that he or she may grow. Consequently, the troubles we encounter in our paths in the modern world are in essence initiatory to the extent that each one of them is life changing. The issue for Westerners is not so much the absence of initiation as it is the absence of a community to recognize initiatory passages. So that has a lot in there, but I wanted to delve in because I recently had the pleasure of working with uh, someone close to me on their relationship and on this type of initiation in a kind of magical realm way. Uh, maybe you've, you've had a, a, you know, an experience of this kind of thing. Well, what happened to her was they were having a fairly uh, relaxing few months in their relationship. You, you know, everything was going reasonably well. They weren't uh, having any difficulties. But all of, a, all of a sudden they were, you know, one afternoon in the park and she found a four leaf clover. Now she recognized, as we do, that this is kind of a ritual good luck symbol, right? Anything that comes along as symbolic brings us a little bit deeper into that archetypal realm, into that deeper realm of like, there's some meaning here that could go along with it. And typically we want the meaning to be obvious and clear and pretty lighthearted and like, oh, that means everything's going to go well. So what often is, you know, what often happens with these symbols is that it requires an initiation to get there. So I said to her right at the beginning, oh, that's great that you found a four leaf clover. There's likely to be a upcoming challenge to your relationship that is going to potentially bring you to a deeper place, but is going to be challenging to get through. But this is a good sign that you could be ready for an initiation. So, you know, now, you know, later that evening, uh, you know, they find out she found out on his phone that he had been messaging other other women on some sort of social media. And and this was an initiation for her to, you know, deal with because uh, this was not something that was agreed upon in their relationship. And she was not, uh, you know, not appreciative of the fact that this was kind of going on behind her back or in some sort of hidden way. And so she questioned him about it. They got in a, a typical argument and she left. And that was the possibility there was for, you know, the anger and the betrayal and the bitterness and all of that, the doubts and the fears to come up and actually break up this type of relationship. And often we end up breaking up around things like this. And I'm not saying that that wouldn't potentially be the right choice, but it is an initiation to what is happening, what is going on at a deeper level here for these individuals or this relationship. And so the next week or two was pretty hard and miserable, as you can imagine, as they both kind of worked through their fears, their trust issues. You know, do you, are you just trying to control me? Does that, you know, are, can you, can I ever trust this person again? It brings up a lot, <laughs> all these little things. And that is the essence of an initiation. You know, I think we do, or we have potentially in the West kind of jumped on the idea of doing these initiations as a kind of weekend 
trip, you know, a weekend kind of, oh, let me go away and do the plant medicine or the animal medicine or, you know, a ritual and it will just be fun and easy and we'll have gourmet meals and a nice bed and some, you know, and I'll wear my beautiful dress and I'll be all goddessy and it'll be great. You know, and I think that what we have to realize is that an initiation is, is difficult. It's, um, it's meant to challenge us. And so if we go with that idea of, you know, well, I've paid my thousand dollars for the plant medicine journey, it should therefore give me this initiation, I think is, the, is somewhat uh, misleading way to go about that. So that's my, my version of that. If you are really into those types of weekends, <laughs> by all means, you know, have Adam. But I think that there's something there to look at if it becomes a pattern of wanting to get a particular outcome because we've paid for it or because we've booked a weekend, we should therefore have an initiation. These initiations come upon us. And in the West, we don't have such prescribed times such as puberty or, you know, well, we have birth and death. Those are somewhat given, but we don't tend to have the initiatory ritual that might might happen in a in a indigenous culture so when they turn up we should pay attention so when this four-leaf clover turned up and then opened up this pit of uh stuff for the this particular couple to look at you know there was lots of tears and in the end um the the guy in this in this relationship had lost his parents uh in late teens and you know, had been trying to do things on his own. And here, herein lies a real crux of this whole thing. An initiation and a ritual is not really something we can do it on our own, but to really get the full benefit of it, I do believe we need to be witnessed. And, you know, you could be witnessed by nature or by a, a partner or by a guide or a sitter, or, you know, if you have, if you're doing a, a plant medicine journey or something, but the point is to be witnessed in your in your initiatory journey. So, you know, this particular guy had been trying to kind of do life on his own because he felt probably abandoned by his own parents. And so he rejected his church and his community and just kind of went and tried to do things on his own. And of course, you know, up to a certain point, you gain strength. This is kind of the... Uh, you know, when you go off into the wilderness for three days and you have your your solo journey, he did that uh, on his own for a while. And now it's coming back to what have you learned? Where can you bring this back into community? And so, you know, it came up in his relationship and the girl was, you know, uh, hurt and felt betrayed and and brought up a lot of her trust issues with with men so she had to work on that in order to stay present to what was happening. Now, both of them, it seems like, um, we'll see how it works out in a year or two. <laughs> we'll have to do an update. But it seems like at the moment that they have weathered that initial challenge. And it ended up that they, they went to church together back to visit his old family church. And he was welcomed with open arms by friends of his parents and that he had known as a child and all of that. So the community welcomed him in and whether or not they knew all the, the stages of what he'd been through, I think many of us do have a sense like this person has gone off on their own for a while and they've returned, you know, the kind of um, prodigal son type of thing. And I think they understood that there was some initiatory ritual going on here and they welcomed him back and he shed uh, tears that was not normal for him. So that was, there was an emotional response there and he shared that and the girl was with him. So that was nice that she was able to support that and, and to have given him the idea to maybe go back to community and find that. So I think that you know, that the, this last sentence in the quote I read for you, the ab, it's not so much that we have an absence of initiation in the West, it's the absence of a community to recognize it. And I'm not saying church is the only community. However, a community is, is a group of people that can help us to really go deeper and to care about us enough to notice what's happening and to notice these challenges coming up and to notice that 
you know, you've made a choice here to try to better yourself rather than running away from the challenge and splitting up and saying, well, I'll just find another person to be with. And, and you're only going to get to the same place. This is the thing with many relationships that we're not shopping for, a, you know, a bar of soap. We are with a, a human being and um, they're not going to they're not going to just kind of fall into a slot of this is what a partner should be. There's going to be the same initiation with any other person come up at some point if we haven't actually taken the opportunity with the first person. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't abusive situations. I work with that, as many of you know, and it, it sometimes is better to just cut your losses and get out of that relationship and perhaps work on your own to do the initiation in a safer place that isn't going to take you down. Um, because we want, you know, even in indigenous cultures, I, I don't think they want their children and their, you know, young adults to fail an initiation but they're, they also can't do it for them. But we want to set people up for, for uh, uh, success. We want to set them up with um, a challenge that is doable with some effort. And so, you know, in relationship, if you end up with a psychopath or, a, or a, you know, a, someone with narcissistic personality disorder, things that really you are not going to be able to work through your initiation with these people because these people will just twist it all around and take you down then perhaps it's better to get out and do your initiation somewhere else. However, in this particular case with this story, this couple seems to have risen to the challenge and has taken up the, the, the opportunity to work with this, this initiatory uh, trust, you know, between them. They both ended up uh, deleting a particular social media uh, platform. So they, they both made a sacrifice. You know, these are all words that we use for these types of rituals. And we kind of make fun of them in the West here, you know, as far as where we're going with our own intellectual understanding of things. But there is something very powerful with saying, I will sacrifice this if you'll sacrifice that. We're doing this together for the greater good of our relationship. And I will work on my trust issues and forego past the past doubts. You know, I'm going to, we'll both start new from today. And that doesn't mean that you are naively going forward with, like I said, you know, someone who is not doing their work. But you do have to, at these initiation periods, become a new version of yourself, shed that skin and move onward. So I thought that it worked really well as, a, as an example of this type of relationship initiation that many of us are presented with and don't realize that we actually have the possibility for a huge amount of growth within these types of relationship challenges. So, you know, I, perhaps I'm speaking to some of you out there that are have gone through recently or are currently going through really difficult times in your relationship, what would it be like to ask a different question or to take a different framework for that? And instead of saying, we're having a really hard time and we're not getting on and maybe it's maybe this isn't the right person for me, perhaps we ask something like, what is this initiatory challenge calling forth in me, in us, in our relationship that we could take a hold of in a in an almost ritualistic way and work with it in order that both of us could grow and become you know better people better versions of ourselves through this challenge because really an initiation is just that it's an opportunity to grow and become a better version of ourselves so what is coming up for you and are you giving it the necessary witnessing yourself that would bring this into a an initiation type of uh, level for you rather than just an annoyance. You know, sometimes our relationship issues become an annoyance and we just want to forget about it. You know, well, I'll just go out with my friends. I'll go see a movie. I'll just binge watch on Netflix. I'll just avoid talking to this person. And we can easily avoid the initiation and go on and on and on and just kind of get grow and drift apart. And really, we've lost that 
amazing opportunity to grow from something that's come up. So if something is coming up for you recently, how could you reframe that as an initiatory opportunity? And, you know, if you witness it as that, and if you take some time and sit and ponder and work with it and maybe ask your partner to sit with you or, or go for a walk or do some kind of ritual um, relationship building together, then it may become not just uh, another annoyance and another wedge between you, but it might become the transformation that you're looking for to a deeper aspect of your relationship, which in this story of this couple that I was telling you about, they'd both been wanting, right? They both were kind of unsure whether to move in together, whether to move to the next level, whether they're really serious and are we actually doing this? You know, are we going to be together or, you know, or is this just a, a, a fling or, you know, are we just dating? When do we move to that next level? And of course, there's going to be an initiation to move to a, a deeper level. And here it is. So my question to all of you lovely listeners out there today is, you know, what is showing up in your life that you could reframe as an initiation and not just something that's kind of annoying and getting in the way of you doing your thing? Maybe there's a way that you can take a moment or an hour or even a day to spend some time with that and to really witness what is going on, do some journaling, do some drawing, go for a walk in nature, go for a swim in the ocean. It's summertime in the here in the northern hemisphere. So these types of ritual bathing, you know, ritual walk in nature, uh, a journey, you know, a ritual, uh, you know, set your your dreams to be helpful you know what before you go to sleep set it set it up that you're going to dream about something about this to how to move forward with it how to overcome it and it won't come probably from trying to deal with it on an intellectual level or saying well i'll just be nicer or i'll just not bother or i'll just not get upset by that this isn't the way that initiations work initiations work with a transformational shift in our sight, in our seeing. They come from suddenly having the curtain drawn aside to this other world and seeing uh, seeing everything from this a different place. And that requires, you know, as long as it takes. And typically it's not that long, but we can't, again, we can't say, okay, well, I'm going to spend 30 minutes and it better be done by then, right? If we had elders in our, in our tribe or in our community, they would laugh, right? They would say, well, you just have to stay there until it comes to you. So if there's an opportunity to stay with an issue in your relationship and to open up the possibility that this is an initiation for you, um, I would love to hear about it. So if you enjoy this and you think that it brings up some ideas for you to reframe what's going on in your relationship and also to notice that you know, good luck comes with challenges. So a four leaf clover or, uh, you know, some new deeper level of intimacy comes with challenges and it comes when we overcome these challenges and we get to this new place. So with all uh, love and respect for you and your journey uh, from my heart to yours, uh, I hope you have a wonderful day and that you have some time to witness your own small and large initiations that are coming to you in your life so that your life can take on a deeper meaning. That would be my wish for you today. So again, you can find out more about me at my website, pleasureforhealth.com. If you're interested in working with me on a deeper level, I would love to, to offer you a, a free consult. We could talk about what are you working with in your life and what would you like to be witnessed in how would you like to creatively make the opportunity for these types of transformational processes to come into being. So please do reach out and check out my other podcasts and blog posts on my website and have a wonderful day.